talking, don't you see? Yeah, this she's back. After a mere eight attempts. See you there. How many times must I try? <laughs> as many as it takes. But I'm not getting anywhere. You'll get there. You gotta believe in yourself. Don't give up. He's like, <laughs> I'm not a big fan of this whole mentorship thing. We shall return to this later. Didn't make it far first time out on the continent either. Geralt, please, not now. By comparison, the gauntlet was a walk in the park. But that's not the point. What is? Avalar says nothing will come of this until I stop thinking about the battle. But at the moment, I find it impossible to fill my head with kittens and vanilla pudding. <laughs> well, now me, you're thinking about them. How do you do it? What? Always manage to pull yourself together. Focus. No matter what's happening. Uh. Hmm. Sure, we think we know what hmm. might lift your spirits. There's a certain ancient method. Vesemir taught it to me, and Barman taught it to him. Will you take me into the mountains and make me drink hemlock? No, the I recognize this music. have used it for centuries. It always works. Hey! You'll regret that. Snowball fight? Admittedly, this is not what I thought was going to happen. <laughs> oh what? Whoa! Hey, that's cheating. That is totally cheating. <laughs> Confirmed. We'll see about that. Where'd you go? <laughs> Come and get me. Can I do that now? Ooh. How do I how do I pick up snow? Don't the snowball hit me? I mean I kinda of wanna have Siri win. Well, come kind on. Of. I need whoa! <laughs> I didn't even see that one was coming. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, we probably don't want to be standing right next to her, right? <laughs> oh, well, I, I dodged in the opposite direction. How do I pick up the snow? <laughs> I need to pick up snow. Oh, that's how I do it. Okay. I see. Is that just a slap? <laughs> oh, she has a life bar. That's. I mean, understandable, I suppose. But oh, do I need more snow? I need more snow. I think. Geralt is not throwing snowballs anymore. How do I how do I get more snow? This is thing. There we go. Oh, I need to loot. No. Good shot. So it's basically first to eight. Right here. Right here. I missed. I've participated in many of the snowball fights before. I, I should be capable of doing this. <laughs> well, come on. But uh, the the main issue is that I don't know where to. Get the snowballs. <laughs> we looted one previously. Okay, now we have another. That hit you. Well, come on. That may or may not have hit you. It missed you slightly. That's definitely gonna hit you. That did not hit you. Come on, Siri. Stop cheating. Where's she gonna end up? One of these spots. I don't have snow anymore. Come on. Okay, this seems to be the go-to spot for the snowballs. That totally hit you. You can't tell me that didn't hit you. That totally hit you. Yeah, I don't love that I'm charging a snowball right now. Because it's kind of hard to see you. But like, you can't tell me that didn't hit you. Okay, there we go. Hello? I can hit you? Yes, it will. What? You're teleporting. You're telling me we're cheating? I highly doubt that. And now, now, <laughs> I found out where the snowballs are. That makes it a lot easier to actually make this happen. I did kind of feel as if it would be best to have her win. You know? Hey, kind of felt like she needed a, a victory of some sort. Moral victory. 
all the snowballs. Hit you from here. Snipe you. That's gonna be kind of tough. Not sure if that's gonna hit you. I think it did. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> you were right. That really works. There you have it. Thanks. Glad to be of service. So what now? Oh, thanks for reminding me. Okay. Hit her one last time. I'm just gonna teleport right before we hit her. Ah. Excuse me? Geralt. Geralt. Wake <laughs> up. What, what is it? What, what is this, Siri? What's happening? Get up. We must go. I've saddled the horses. Siri, it's the crack of dawn. Where do you want to go? To Velen. Bold Mountain. But a few days to I wondered if we'd end up going there for the main quest at some point. I guess who's the guest of honor? Not a lot. I don't care. No, enlighten me. Don't know. Enlighten me. Imlarith. What? We'll have no better chance to get him. Where do you get this idea? What's gotten into you? <laughs> I must avenge Vesemir. The Sabbath. It's the perfect opportunity. Imlarith will be drunk among his cohorts. Caught up in the revelry. He'll not expect the blow. What? Is this Sabbath? And what? <laughs> what is all this about? How do you learn about the? Uh, I mean, this—the phrasing of this implies that Geralt knows what the Sabbath is. Which, I mean, he was technically a member of the Wild Hunt for a little bit, so I don't know if he remembers that. Uh, I don't know. Know what you're doing? Siri, sure you know what you're getting into. Yes. And I must do this. Come. We shall talk on the way. Uh, do we need to talk to the Emperor first? Oh no, no. We could talk to the Emperor first if we wanted to like lead on. Lead Siri to the Emperor and be all like, hey, we got Siri for you, and we would get a bunch of money for it. But eh, who needs the Emperor, right? Let's go. Siri doesn't want to go there. She's got more important things to attend to, right? I mean, might have been able to go there and then go talk to Ilmer, but... Save Ciri who began to plan her revenge. She woke Geralt one night and urged him to travel with her to Velen, to the top of Bald Mountain, where she knew she'd find Imlarith. She had decided he had to die. She had decided that he probably had to die or something like that. You know, such was the way of things. Ah, Northern Tamaria. So you do outright say that Velen is part of Tamaria here. If anything, I thought it was going to be Western or Southern Tamaria. A little bit strange, but sure. Huh? Are we actually controlling this? I don't know. No, we're just heading up to Bald Mountain, which we have gone to at least a little bit before. The base of the mountain. Bought some foglets and whatnot, but I think the they were high enough pledged. level that we said, eh, I probably don't want to go place. here now. Ard Servin, home of the ladies of the wood. Plural? The peasants feared coming here, and the barons thought the ladies of the wood a terrifying tale for naughty children. Incidentally, I wonder how the baron is. Uh, he well. Found his wife took her away somewhere far. Anna, she was unwell. A true shame. You actually know Wilmerth will be there? Yeah, see, so like, you kind of just said you had this really bold, elaborate, or not really elaborate, but bold plan. Didn't really explain how or why you came to this conclusion. We stand to find Imlarith here. You sure? Avalok told me of beings who commune with the NL elves. They can be found in every part of our world. In Velen, the crones do this. Apparently, hmm. Imlarith came here at Eridin's behest, 
to order the crones to keep their eyes open and ears pricked, in case Avalok were to seek shelter in his Velen hideout. Took the order literally, judging by all the ears hanging in the woods. Yeah. Think Himmlerith might still be here? He craves the pleasures of the flesh, wine, sex. The crones indulge him, flatter his ego. I'm certain he'd not let this opportunity pass, and will be on Bull Mountain for the Sabbath. So it's actually the crones were the ones that would normally be leading this event, it would seem. But Ilmerith is uh, going to spend some quality time with them. Okay, are you familiar with this place? You actually know this area? Centuries ago, it was a hallowed site for druids. But then the crones arrived, destroyed the Velen Circle, and deformed the Sacred Oak atop the mountain. An important feast is observed here annually. The Sabbath, they call it. All the local folk attend. I suspect Imnareth attends too, as the crone's guest. Seems yeah, to suspect. Well. Havelock's a good tutor. All right. Let's check it out. Let's get this done. I suppose. We must reach the peak. We'll find Imnareth there. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, we already have this fast travel spot. Of gifts. I've no idea why. Loads of footprints. A crowd of peasants came through here. Hmm. Yeah. Well, like I said, we've been here before. This is our fast travel spot that we've already gotten. And then... Huh. We have been to this little village here. But it was abandoned. There were some foglets there. Some high-level foglets at that. But, uh... Hmm. Okay. Check it out. Geralt? Yeah. Oh, I pressed the talk button. That's why you said that. Avalar claims vanity is Imler's greatest weakness. Vanity? Any foe he faces, he strives to impress. Huh? The other one, Karanthir, is said to be secretive and pragmatic. That's the teleporting one, right? Giving he was Avalar's student. Oh! What? Hold on. Um, you mean to suggest that Avalar used to be a member of the Wild Hunt? So kind of seems like what you just implied. Also, I can't really... I don't think we can really sprint up here, because I'm holding the sprint button right now, and it is not doing anything. We are not encumbered, so that's not it. We're just we're just taking a nice little stroll with Siri, is all. Okay, uh... Hello? Shall you shoot, you say? He's an outsider. Shoot what? Oh, crossbow. Let them approach. They've come for the feast. Wouldn't do to cast them out. Didn't come to celebrate. We need to get to the top Herald. of the mountain. The gate is shut. You'll not pass. But we you cannot get out. That away with food and drink and Sit down yeah, beside one, and perhaps this year the ladies will descend. Give us the privilege of seeing them. Browns? You mean? Uh, I guess we'll sit down. By a fire, it doesn't look like we have much choice. We thank you for the invitation. Be oh, I guess we could have just right? left and speak for yourself. Run Come away. With me. Siri looks perhaps a little displeased with that decision. <laughs> got their little. Oh, what? Are... <laughs> what are his shoes? Oh my gosh. Looks like he's wearing wicker baskets on his feet. Why, hello there. Uh, so the ladies descend to you. What exactly do you mean by that? Ladies of the wood visit you? If they favor us. My father told me they descended once. Passed from fire to fire, listening to hopes and grievances. So each year, we wait for them to walk amongst us once more. Haven't done it in a long time, then. No point waiting to see if we'll get lucky. Yeah, we gotta try to reach the peak. Mm -hmm. We'll head on up for sure, but what's the deal with this gate that you say is op uh, not open, closed? And we probably want to get Mentioned open. the gate, said we wouldn't pass. Only the Chosen visit the ladies. Every year, young lads and lasses climb the mount, but never more than three. Let me guess, the young lads and lasses don't return. No, they return happy and radiant. But rare is the one who then stays in Velen. 
Off they go to seek fortune in the wider world. I mean, understandably so. I'm not sure why you don't really want to stay here. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that doesn't really answer why it doesn't work. I mean, I guess you just, you know, you said that the, the ladies don't often come down. So what does the feast celebrate, exactly? This celebration, what's it about? What do you need to know, Wanderer? No need for anger. The White Ones serve the ladies as we do now. We send them gifts all year long. And on this night, they repay us with their blessing. I met one of your gifts to the crows. Snivelling. Scared to death and about eight years old. Stay yeah. calm. I mean, she's not wrong. Why do the ladies need your children? You know, that is, uh, that is in fact what you sacrifice. Your to children. Them. Why do the ladies need them? We know not and never ask. Yeah, you know... You don't know. That's... Then let me tell you. It's pretty tell weird. Tell us instead what a peasant, his own young and starving, is to do with a wandering war orphan. You're not from here. Don't judge us by others' laws. Right. Fair enough. But what exactly is the lady's blessing? What makes it so worthwhile for you to sacrifice children to them regularly? Said the ladies bestow blessings on you. Aye, for our lives turn thus. First a summer of labor beneath the hot sun, then autumn rains, then a winter of death. What? Then that doesn't sound good. <laughs> we await spring, when all that is dead is born anew. And from our blood and sweat, the oak bears acorns. At times few, at times a handful. What do you do with the acorns? The Valen elders gather Geralt is very intrigued. Council. Some favor grinding them to spread on the fields for a rich harvest. Others want them given to a cunning woman who'd make medicine for consumption. A handful of enchanted acorns is enough for all Velen. <laughs> is never enough all right uh changing topics i'm not sure there's much else for us to discuss this. we've got other questions uh, we covered just about everything yeah i should go this is my favorite store on the citadel we should be going eager to see the ladies i share your yearning we're a fire with yearning come Geralt. we must get there before daybreak Go to the tent and stand before Thecla. She's the one who decides who's worthy to face the ladies. Okay, we'll talk to Thecla. You're Stregomir. Okay, just take a quick peek at what our quest says now. Do we even have any secondary quests at the moment? We're still free spirit. And then the high level contracts. Okay, yeah. So I think, you know, we've been mainlining the main quest, and I think that's probably what we're going to do. For the most part here and out which i like i think i really like the the pacing now because we spent so long you know doing side quests after side quests exploring area after area and a lot of times it just feels like you don't you know it feels like your your actions are not as impactful whereas when we're doing especially now as we're getting later on into the game it's like big thing after big thing so talk to Thecla and get permission to climb the mountain. Well, let's see, Vesemir's death tore a gaping hole in Ciri's heart and left only a burning drive for revenge to fill it. This drive burned all the higher when she learned from Avalok that Ilmarith, the general of the hunt who murdered Vesemir, would be attending the Crone's Sabbath on Bald Mountain. Ciri smelled blood and decided at once to travel to No Man's Land and kill Ilmarith. Geralt, that calculating, practical-minded witcher, as usual, caved immediately to his adopted daughter's wishes and agreed to accompany her on this expedition. The pair thus slipped out to Cam out of Kermorin in the cold light of morning and galloped off to find vengeance. Okay. So, you actually have a shopkeeper here? Well, they me a little bit surprised. Let's see. Right anged. Apparently this is someone who we have met before because this is great out. Wouldn't mind a look at your stuff. You're probably a traveling merchant before. Uh, not sure we actually have too much to sell to you, though, other than a Wild Hunt Warrior's sword, 
which we might want to break into components, although it's Steel Sword, so it's probably not going to give us much that's all that special. We're probably fine there. Farewell. Okay. What is the farmer's wife saying? Also, that, <laughs> that deer is, uh, yeah, about several of them are just chilling here. <laughs> uh, don't mind me, she's gonna eat some grass directly behind you. Okay, uh, oh, is Blacksmith here as well? Apparently, we met you as well. Wow. I'm also surprised. I am curious what level crafted. craftsman you are. You take a look. You are an amateur. Okay, so in theory, you can't do much for us in that case. I was going to say, like, if you're high level, then I might even be able to upgrade some of our, so our winter school gear with you. We were saying that might be something we're interested in doing pretty soon. Alright, let's chat with... Oh. Person who is apparently all the way over here? Oh, hold on. What's this? Look, a child. Uh oh. Probably gonna get sacrificed. No, a godling. I know him. Name's Johnny. Johnny! How's it Where going? Don't be? You're back. Uh, and I see you found your lass. That we did. I'm Johnny. We've had the pleasure already. A bit one sided though it was. See, I saw you running. You're back to me. As I was <laughs> having the pleasure of, oh, tis a long story. Uh, not sure you want to go any further along that story. Nice to meet you. How are things, Johnny? Health's good, so no complaints. What brings you here? Uh, why are you here exactly? What are you doing here? Last we met, you and the Crones weren't exactly friends. I got an invitation I couldn't refuse. Same uh -oh. as every year. In their peculiar way, the crones tolerate my presence and wish to see me at their Sabbath. It's so a little I odd. come, wander about, and go home with the rising sun. What about you? We are looking to get to the top. We gotta climb the mountain. Can you help? I'd rather try to dissuade you. <laughs> I'm certain that would be in vain. The lass, she is stubborn as you. How do you know? Even more so. Yeah. Figured as much. Oh, path to the peak starts there, past the gate. But only old Thekla's got the key, so since you shan't ever get it, you best turn back now. All right, we'll, we'll see about that, Johnny. We're at the Crones. They have any guests? We're here to find an elf named Imlarith. Siri thinks he might be a guest of the Crones. Big bloke in full plate. Going the right way. He's atop the mountain, all right. Yeah, okay. Him? Saw him in the bog first. Water froze beneath his horse's hooves. Then I saw him again yesterday, heading up this path. Why are you? Yeah, he's certainly for? in the area. He killed my friend. Wouldn't oh. seek revenge if I were you. Even the ladies bow and scrape before that one. <laughs> yeah, they're kind of scared of him. Why won't we get the key, though? It seems as though everyone is saying that this person is never going to give us that key. The key. Why do you doubt we can get it? Good grief. You're worse than children. <laughs> Three souls are allowed atop the mountain, and only strapping young lads or comely lasses among them. They get the key, open the gate, and meet the ladies. I believe I qualify. But he's old and ugly. What good is he? Oh. Pretty damn good at finding lost voices. Then go find the voice it's of true. reason. It'll tell oh. you to turn back. There's no fooling with the ladies. Clever, Johnny. Clever. We gotta try. Gotta get to the summit. Simple as that. It's Thakla you'll need to convince. She's blind as your bum, but she won't be what? fooled. We shan't try to trick her. Blind she as your in bum. That tent over yonder. I wish you luck and do hope we meet again someday. Thanks, Johnny. Moons are rising, owls hoot, fires just a gleam. Hours lay in slumber, cozy. Close your eyes and dream. He's great. Johnny's great. Johnny is great. 
All right. Let's... Oh. Yeah. Head over here. Uh, ooh, maybe, you know, don't, like, nearly fall off the side of the mountain. Um... I actually need to go back here? Back where we were before, though. No? Oh, no, this is a different settled area. I thought that, uh, well, there's only gonna be one place with a bunch of villagers around it. Everyone is waiting for something, seemingly. Oh, we have not looked at this stuff. Is this safe to take? It does seem like it is. I don't think we have any guards here. I think it's just purely villagers. So, take and take we shall. And most of this stuff is pretty simple. Nothing terribly intriguing. But another shopkeeper? Another trader? This person, apparently, we've not met. Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. You have some... Raider runestones, which are pretty powerful, but they are pretty expensive as well. So we're probably, if anything, just gonna sell the stuff that we just picked up. Although, eh, it's just like crafting materials and whatnot, so I'm not really sure. That's uh, all that urgent to do right now. Farewell. But at least we've acknowledged your existence. That's a pretty big fire. <laughs> yeah. Now this appears to be the place where we're looking to go. I'm curious. Oh, I was going to say if we it's could, like, clearing up. see if there's anything to loot around here first. Mm. Who's that? She's blind. Well, it's just about all we know about on. her. Come Other than that, and girl. she has a key and probably doesn't want to give it to us. Aye. What's she like? Narrow hips, sparkly eyes, a striking feisty lass. <laughs> Never had a man. Got me answer. I choose you, like, girl. Mm -hmm. This night you shall see the ladies. All right. So, uh, Siri's in. Uh, what do you think, Siri? I mean, it'd be nice for Geralt to tag along with her. But, uh, as Johnny was saying, it's gonna be a little bit tougher to convince these people to let Geralt through when it appears to be based almost exclusively off of your physical appearance, and Geralt, you know, the white hair, it's just not everyone's style. Siri. Wonderful. Who wouldn't want to meet the ladies? My companion comes with me. There we go, she's got the idea. What else has the cat dragged in? <laughs> it's grey and veiny, got a scar, and eyes <laughs> like a viper. Aye. Stinks of clotted blood and corpses. Plus, it's old and infertile. I reject ye, freak. The girl will ascend alone. Uh, what's this about? What's this about? What have you chosen her for? I mean, I pretty much know. Tell him. Each year, we put two and two together here. The honor to meet the ladies. What happens after they've had this honor? When they return, they speak of the past no more. Joy rules them, and they start life anew. The lads were not the first to be chosen this day, but the moon hangs eye, so she's like to be the last. Okay. And try to convince them that Geralt is actually a lot better looking than he appears, or a better person than his looks would appear to suggest, or we can just say, we're going with her no matter what. Now, given uh, some of the comments that they were making, and given uh, both this person here, who is permitting or disallowing people to advance, and also people saying what they do at the top of the mountain, um, that's kind of what I was saying. Now, you can kind of put two and two together here to, to gather what, what activities they will be partaking of once they reach the top. Also, perhaps, uh, further reason why they may be filtering people based off of physical appearance. Uh, which is partially why convincing them that Geralt is worthy, I think, is probably not going to work, because this lady was able to determine one notable thing about Geralt that comes from going through the mutations of becoming a witcher, which 
Siri has not done, despite being a Witcher, I remember you guys were saying that she actually has not been gone through the mutation process at all. She's just all... It's all her Elder Blood that makes her extremely powerful and her training. But, let's see. I think for that reason, this is not going to be terribly effective, and I think we basically have to go this route. I don't think either one's really going to work all that much. I think either way, they're probably going to say absolutely not, and it's going to be just Siri, but try it out. I'm going with her. <laughs> He's fire in his gut. What do you say? He's determined. He loves the girl, but he seeks to hide it from us. Not sure what to make of this other person who's assisting her, though. Perhaps there's life in Younger him, yeah. woman. By ancient right, you may appeal my choice. But to do so, you must best the challenge. Mm -hmm. What challenge? Care to explain? What kind of challenge? Tell him. You must descend into the cave and bathe in the waters below the earth. What's sure. the catch? The yeah, water's it's gotta be a catch. The water's murky. Okay. Um, so we might get dirty. Sure. I accept the challenge. <laughs> Come. I mean, obviously, there's got to be some additional catch that's a lot more significant that they're not informing us of right now. Gonna like dive down here. Yeah. We did poke our head in here previously. I do remember that. Look this over. A coin from days of yore. Falker burns on its reverse, so they call it the Defier's Aura. Do we have to find it? Is that the idea? Now, bring me the coin. Okay. Something's afoot. Something's nigh. The end is nigh. Now, uh, not surprised to see Ithilin's prophecy here, of all things. The book about prophesizing the end of the world is perhaps fitting uh, with these people and given the, the talk that they're giving us here. Uh, can we just jump here? Can we dive? I feel like we can. And we may also want to... Guessing this is just going to be like really deep. And we're probably going to want to use the killer whale. Might not even need it, but let's see. Where is it? Is it this one? It's this one. Okay, let's swap out what? The cat, I guess. And we'll hop in. Uh, and we should probably activate the... Well, we'll jump down and see first. Uh, we'll punch and then drop down. Okay. Uh, excuse me? How the heck did it actually go down this way? That makes no sense. Thank you very much. We'll go killer whale here, just in case this is a very long trip. Let's save. Let's see. I mean, there's gotta be enemies in here, right? There's the coin. We got that much. Is it like cursed and it's gonna make a bunch of things attack us now that we picked it up? Negotiator diagram. Okay. Buckthorn, I don't really care about that. I think. Let's try to see if there's anything over here. There is there is stuff here, seemingly. Not entirely sure where this is going to lead us out to. Somewhere out in the middle of the ocean, apparently. We are close to running out of breath. Oh, kind of, sort of, but not really. Oh, it's just a convenient little stairway. Look at this. How very kind of you. Oh, uh, no. Except maybe not. Give the coin to, to her, yes, but, uh... Oh, it's a fiend. Hello. Um, how did you get over there? That's a kind of a strange place for you to be. But I do like fiends. They're very cool. You throw on a uh, relic oil if we really wanted to. I'm not really sure it's necessary. But... Can? So, I mean, there had to be. Oh, you're doing your, your black magic thing. Uh, okay, hold on. <laughs> uh, is he dead? He's not dead. Can't see your life bar right now. Uh, not sure we had a coin on. We may not have. It's kind of weird fighting you on this narrow little staircase or ramp or whatever you want to call it. 
But we'll take your dung. Thank you very much. And is that your last trick? Or do you have more to surprise us with here? Every time we pop up one of these ledges, you're gonna give us a new and powerful enemy? Or will that be it? Uh, I felt my controller vibrate, but I think that was it. I don't think there's actually anything special there. And we can come back here if we need to. This is a place we can return to, at least in theory, unless we get caught in some I'm point of no return. Come, let's get the key. Fair enough. Let's do it. Afoot. They're back. What do you want? We got the coin. But what? What is Can't on the? Help but be curious. What's at the summit? Tell him. The ladies dwell Tell there. Tell him. But only the chosen may look upon them. I know that. I want. You'll learn nothing else here. Yeah. All right. Fine. Be that way. Well, we have the coin. We've retrieved it from the bottom, and we fought your little seed as well. You tossed in the lake. It reeks of sludge. What are you gonna make us go clean Nothing it now as well? About that. So, gonna keep your word? I always do, my boy. Show the coin to the gatekeeper past the threshold. He'll know its meaning. Marika will open the gate for you. Now go. That went smoothly. Weren't the one to do the diving in that cave. <laughs> Stop, Marika. You're a witcher. You've dived in murkier waters. Yeah, I have to tell you about the time I hunted a Zugo. True. Witcher one. That was a. Uh, yeah, that was definitely murkier waters. I'd say. That was back with Siegfried. We have not seen Siegfried. Oh, what is this? He who knows? But pretty sure we read this before. Folks say there were four at first. The mother, she who knows, Lady of the Wood. Only here from a faraway land, and since she suffered terribly from loneliness, she made three daughters out of dirt and water. Oh, we have read this before, but I'm not sure if we, or at least not if I ever put two and two together here, that uh, the three children are presumably the thrones. That might be why that was actually highlighted red. What's up, Marika? Hey, last of the chosen will now ascend the mount to the big We follow you? Yes, we follow you. Apparently. Now we can run as well. Okay. Let's see. Is Yuri... Go catch up. Catch up eventually. Let's save. Alright, where exactly are we headed? I mean, up. Yes. And apparently there's a, a gate here. I don't think we went this high up previously. Because we did go here several occasions before. But I think we stopped... Every time previously, or maybe we made it to this this cave entrance here and then stopped right now. Not entirely sure. Oh uh, well, yeah, we probably made it right here and realized we couldn't make it through. You require. Oh okay. uh, well, there it is. Ah! Ah! Come on, Siri. Nine swine. Yugis? Mm. Who is this? What's your name, girl? Oh, What's that's the same. That's the all god species. That you don't matter. Atop the peak, you'll lose it and get another. You may go. And you? Uh, I think we just say that we passed the trial, and this is probably just gonna cause a little bit of a kerfuffle. We just cut to the chase. I passed the trial. Here's proof. Recognize it. It's gonna With say no and then bite us instead. A death sentence. Ah, uh, yep, it was a trap. All right. I see. All right. Don't mess with Siri, please. I don't think we've ever fought one of these guys before. So we did not actually fight the oh, All God. Is, oh, we were on fire. That's why we were taking damage. <laughs> um, I'd like to give you to lower your armor. So I'm not really sure that's going to be all that necessary. We should be able to take you out fairly quickly and easily here. One tough son of a bitch. Eh, not We've really. We've no time to lose. I'll tend to Imlirith. You take the crowns. 
Avalog said they dwell below the oak, among its roots. No chance. I'm going after Amorith. <laughs> I Fine, get the wild hunt. Let's play for it. Rock, paper, scissors. Oh man. Are we serious? <laughs> A two out of three. Uh, everyone always chooses rock. Tied for the win. Ah. Uh, give you a chance. Yeah. So Ilmorth is dangerous. I suppose we'll take him and Siri will take the crones. Ilmorth's a bigger threat than the crones. I should face him. I'm no worse a fighter than you. We both know that's not true. Listen to <laughs> oh. me this once. But. No buts. No, you really want to fight him. Fine. Be careful. You too. I must get down there. 